Gentlemen, great to see you this evening. What does Birmingham City mean to the three of you? Jono, you first. Um, after nine years as a player here and you know, being signed by Baz, going through three managers and now back in an ambassadorial role, I think it, you know, it's the mainstay of my, my career. So it means a lot. I know what the fans feel. I know what the expectations are. And for me, you know, I'm an adopted Blue Nose now. You know, it's my first club of choice. First club that I watch on a Saturday afternoon and make sure that the score lines are a positive ones. So it means a lot for me, Colin. Well, as I say, I'm lucky enough to be in the game 55 years, two and a half years at Birmingham and they're the best years of my life. We had a wonderful time. Um, we had great support. Um, the fans are the mad as what I am. Yeah. I bought some great players. <coughs> you know, Daisy, 50 grand, sold him for 1.8 million. You know, you know, John, I never sold you. <laughs> I bought you. But um, they, they always get on about all my buying and selling, and I bought some rubbish players, as you all know. But I made the club 12.2 million, and there were some great people in that team and in that squad, characters like Daishi, who was a winner, you know, and um, I was very, very lucky to be manager of that group at the time. Daishi. Uh, I had a great time here. I signed from a club that um, Cambridge United, which I had success with, you know, some mm. real good good team. But it was not even in the same league as club stature as Birmingham City. And um, me coming here was like a perfect fit for me. My game went up because of the expectation. Um, as soon as I moved, I moved straight into the city. You know, I was surrounded by Birmingham City fans. It wasn't one of them that travelled in. I, I wanted to be amongst it. Mm. I knew what the people were like. I knew that I clicked into their mentality. I related to that. And I just had two, two and a half years. Great fun. You know, real good fun. Working under Baz, working with some teammates. All strong characters. Real men, really. You know, yeah. going on today's sort of what players are today, how fragile they were. You know that we had a real strong dressing room, and if you were, if you were weak or a bit flaky, you know you soon got found out. Mm -hmm. And it was just a great time, and, and and a team of winners that I'll always look back on great times. When I bump into any of them lads that I play, you know, great mates. Still, I don't see them every day, but or or every week or every month. But when you do see them, boom, you click straight back in, and that's our, our, our pressure. You know that is precious to me. Is it fair to say when Baz, you came in, you made Birmingham exciting again? The team was exciting, the interest, you know, was renewed yeah, because think, it was a bit in the doldrums. Yeah, I think a lot of people wondered why I'd left Southend, who was second in the league, to come to a bottom of the league side. But I'd been at Wembley and watched the Blue Noses win in the Leyland Daff, and I couldn't get over their passion and commitment, you know. So once. Um, David Sullivan and David Gold showed an interest in me. There was only one place I wanted to be because although you was bottom of the league, although I think your previous crowd was like 4,600, you had the potential to be enormous and I wanted to awaken that sleeping giant. And I think thanks to the lads, I don't think the, the team ever got the credit they deserved because it was expected. But, but that was a hard league to win, that le le league, because only one went up automatically. You know, and um, and to get to Wembley as well, mm. and take fifty-five thousand of your own supporters to a, an attendance of seventy-eight was mm. absolutely unique and, and marvellous. And to have the cup runs we did, you know, to play Liverpool at home and draw and go to Anfield and get the lads got a standing ovation from everybody at Liverpool that night. We lost on penalties, mm. but um, it was all great experience. And even the Coca-Cola Cup semi-final we got to, we beat Norwich, we beat Middlesbrough, who was like premiership sides at the time. We, we lost to Leeds over two legs, but going into them two leg, legs, we were selling day shit at Coventry and Stevie Claridge to to uh, Leicester. It, it was ridiculous, really, the position we was in. Mm. But because we bought Dacia for 50 grand, we got offered 1.8, the, the powers to be thought it was good business and they had to go. And it's the same with Clarence. We bought him for 200, sold him for 1.6, and we got more for them going up. So it was good business, and sometimes you just got to take that and get on with it. Mm -hmm. I can ask you each in turn, what would your overriding memory, favourite memory be from your time at Birmingham City? Um, 
there's been there was loads for me, but I think I think it was that um, I think winning once we won we won that all win screen, and I think we came back. We had a big game against Brentford, Brentford yeah. and that was a real decider because they were right on our heels, yeah. and uh, but we beat them, and we just the momentum just took us on. And I think the atmosphere, as Baz said in the the the, the atmosphere at that Brentford game, oh, mm. it's unbelievable, mm. and. You know, I think, you know, we turned up on the back of that win. You know, it was a big game. It could have been, it could have gone either way or we could have just taken our foot off the pedal. But we didn't. We went and beat them and went on and won the double. And, uh, but as I say, I think that Brentford game for me was just electric. Colin, the big problem with, with that is because the, the, the Wembley final was so close to the Brentford game, um, <clears throat> you know, the club didn't want us to celebrate, but I knew the characters of the players and I forced a celebration that night in London because I knew they'd turn up against Brentford and Frasham. Great atmosphere. Jono? For me, the debut underneath Barry Fry, you know, we beat Barnsley away 5-0. Yeah. And for me, as a debut to come to a big club like Birmingham and meet the new players, and our first game we beat, beat Barnsley, a good team 5-0 yeah. away was special. I'll never forget that.